Hello everyone, I am out and about doing my Christmas shopping, so I'm going to bring you with me. We are now going into Maya, which is like an Australian department store. For those who don't know, it's huge. We're in men's, we are looking for dad. Okay guys, so I got my dad's Christmas present from Maya, the department store, so that's exciting. I'm now on the hunt for my mum's. I think I'm going to get her some nice skincare, so I'm off to Sephora. I did a naughty thing, I got distracted, I ended up shopping for myself, but that's okay. Um, we're still going now, everyone's staring at me for talking, this is a very busy mall. Um, still going, still to buy for my mum, my sister and my best friend, but that's okay, I'm nearly done. I'm having a coffee and water break, because it is really busy. Hello everyone, I am home again. I'm so exhausted from all that shopping. I'm gonna grab a quick dinner and then, who knows, I might go out again. I'm, I don't know. <laughs> hey everyone, so I'm in the kitchen with Teddy. Um, I'm wrapping presents. So let's start. This is where I got my dad. It's just super cute. Cheese and crackers set. I also got him. Um, that was my cello tape. These really cute socks. He likes fun socks. So I think that's a fun, fun present. Okay, so I'm going to do a quick interlude um, from my wrapping presents to show what I bought myself. Oh okay, I've just realized it's a tester. I did, although no one's, no one's used it. It's fine. I bought myself some dry bar um, shampoo in the sake the sake bomb. I'm not good at holding my camera and my tripod's ages away. And this is a tester, but it's never been used, you can tell. Um, the Southern Bell for volume, also from dry bar. That's the conditioner. So it'll be good because I've run out of shampoo and conditioner. Um, I've stopped using supermarket brand because I have um, my hairdresser. I was like, please don't. Um, so I'd rather invest because hair and skin is important. Um, so I invested in that from Sephora. I then got one of my favorite, favorite products. It's the Irish Moor Mud. It's a mask from Peter Thomas Roth. I think I've mentioned this before. If not, get on it. It's amazing. It literally is something I credit with clearing up my skin a lot. Um, speaking of skin, if I look oily, it's not my fault. It is like a thousand degrees in Sydney. Um, and so that's the packaging, it's super cute, and it's this just really dark black mud, and it is amazing, it's really clarifying and rejuvenating, um, and it does kind of shrink your pores, so I do recommend it. And then, oh, I just got myself my Holy Grail cleanser, it's the Alpha H Triple Action with Time, it's spectacular, it smells amazing. Quite gentle, however, it gets job done, and it's something I credit with keeping my skin clear. Okay, next up, please ignore the shadows, is this um, overnight mask I got my mum for Christmas. It was expensive, it was $130, but it is really good quality, and I, I'm really into skincare. I'm trying to get my mum into skincare. Um, she's really gonna like this, so I'm very excited. It's a beautiful. I tried it on my hand and it's just such a nice consistency. It's a bit sticky, but it, it really absorbs well. Um, I sample quite a lot before I threw on this one and it's quite low in chemicals and additives. So that's really great, especially in older skin because it is more likely to react um, and it's harder to recuperate after there's been a reaction. So it's very exciting. Okay, you guys. And now because I'm a selfish person, I'm gonna say what else I got myself for Christmas. They're just little things, but they're fun. The first thing I got was this 
rose gold scrunchy and it's like silk no it's not silk it's silky um it's probably like a satin material um i don't know what it's made of but it's so soft it's a cute 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 rose gold which is my aesthetic um it's like gonna be nice on my hair and slippery um also my hair is in a half up that's why that's fallen down that's why my hair is just kind of looks very thin today um next i have this gorgeous like velvet mm, eye mask mm, it's for all my traveling next year um and also because yeah and also when i'm jet lagged slash hungover need an eye mask um and then finally because mine is dead it has died it has deceased a new like skincare headband this is a, like a leopard print I could have gone for like pink and pastel for both of those, but if I'm flying, I like to just look a little bit more sophisticated, so I tend to wear it black. Just if I'm, um, not sound too bougie, but if I'm in the, in the lounge um, for business or first, I don't like to look trash. <laughs> so I wear all black. It's not, yeah, just wear black leggings and black sweatshirt and you're good um layering um but yeah but pink for home i don't know why i went with leopard print i feel like i actually would wear this on the plane because i do a face mask on the plane i'm that person for long haul flights i definitely put a face mask on um <laughs> sorry so i will use this and also like print is cute it's very cute. It's more of a winter thing. Um, these are very, this is like a very wintry kind of aesthetic. Um, and also they go together. But I find I do more sleeping and skincare in winter. Just because like summer it's so hot. That's why my skin's oily. Um, sorry if my camera angle keeps dropping. I keep, I don't know, putting my shoulder down and then everything goes down. So that's what I bought today. I did buy for my best friend, but sometimes she watches this channel, so I didn't reveal that, um, but that's okay. And I haven't bought my sister yet. I am buying her, I don't know if she's going to watch this, she probably won't. If you do, Georgia, sorry. I'm going to buy her a lemon tree, because she told me she wanted to buy it. She wanted me to buy it, unless I buy her gym clothes, but I don't know. I feel like I do badly when I buy clothes for someone. So I'm thinking a lemon tree. I think it would be really cute. Lemon trees are nice because she's really into greenery. She has a really green thumb. Like she has lots of house plants. But she took me to that plant sale um, last weekend or the weekend before last weekend. So yeah, so it's really fun. Okay, real talk. I've had this really weird feeling all day. Like. My heart's been in my throat and I've had like these like heart, maybe like palpitations, like little flutters. And I think it's my anxiety. I normally get really bad anxiety every semester, uh, towards the end of semester, um, before and during exams. And I know it's a bit stupid, but that's just where my anxiety rears its head. Um, it gets really bad, like I cannot move. Um, I am, I am dealing with it in a healthy way. I've consulted um, my therapist and my GP. Everything is fine. Today, I don't know, like it's like my anxiety, but I, it's not, my usual anxiety is that I'm crippled, I can't move, I, I'm stressed, I can't, I can't sleep, I can't do anything, and I have panic attacks. Um, I have really bad panic attacks, y'all. It's not cool. But this is, different I don't know what's happening um it started on my way to pick up my sister who went Christmas shopping with me um and her flatmate so it started then and then we kind of sat down for a bit and it happened again I was like oh it was these like flutters I was she said I was acting a bit erratic as well so maybe that is something I I, I wouldn't know if I was acting erratic or not I was a bit nervy driving this morning, um, and yeah, I just really felt uncomfortable. Um, it's just happened again, like I feel 
Like it's, it's in my throat. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what I'm anxious about. But I'm, I feel nervous. It's weird. Maybe get the vibe that something's happening or brewing in the background. I don't know. If anyone knows like when you can be underlyingly anxious leave a comment maybe it means someone's talking about me and I don't know it or I know it and I just don't like know it know it <sighs> who knows <sighs> you guys this bunny I started off literally I picked it up to say how tacky it was and then I was like no it's so cute I, I couldn't leave it because after I called it tacky I was going to put it back on the shelf I was like no 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 so I took it home. <laughs> I actually really love this bunny. And you know I hate chunky key rings and now I have... I hate myself. But it's so cute and I feel bad for taking off my palm because I only just got it. Maybe I'll find a home for my palm somewhere else. But this bunny is so cute. I can't, I hate myself. I literally hate myself. I attach personalities to inanimate objects. I feel sorry for them. I should mention that to my therapist next. Now, if you can see, I'm doing the Peter Thomas Roth, I always forget his name, the Peter Thomas Roth um, pumpkin enzyme mask. It is delicious. It's been on for like 10 minutes. So, I'm gonna leave it on for a bit because I've worked up my skin to be used to it. And then we're gonna wipe it off and be super clean. I love skincare Sunday. It's literally the best day in the world. I've been on Instagram like being insane while waiting. So, check it out if you wanna see some craziness. If you're watching this in like 10 years, well, trust me, it was pretty bad. Okay guys, I'm shiny because I have done all my eye cream um, and my night cream. Um, yeah, I'm still chilling in my kitchen because I love sitting in my kitchen. I should have been chilling in my bathroom and doing that or chilling in my office and doing it or chilling in my bedroom and doing it or anywhere but the kitchen. But I was in the kitchen because kitchens are fun. I really don't have a lot for this vlog, so short vlog, soz. Um, but I was told my vlogs were too long anyway, so enjoy the shortness, booze. Love you all, bye.